Okay, in this video, we're going to import uh, a bunch of users into our mailing list that we've already set up. And this could be if you're, say, for example, backing up your mailing list from another system or another service, or you've uh, exported your list from one of your e-commerce systems, and you just want to integrate everything together. This is the easy way to do it. We make subscriber management very, very simple indeed. For example, um, if you click on this little uh, shortcut up here, this takes you over to the subscriber page. Right now we've got no subscribers, but you can add new and you can add an individual if you want to, to a mailing list of your choice. So you can put in their emails, select which list you want to add them to, unlike other systems where they try and force you to add them to individual lists one at a time, which is a pain in the backside you can select multiple lists all at once and even register them as a member of your website as, as a WP user, WordPress user. You can also select their format and then if you've got any extra fields like names, addresses, you can add them that way. Well, that's great individually, but what if you want to do it in bulk? Well, again, we've got you covered. What you can do here is come over to Manage Subscribers and then you can import from a CSV. Now I've got a file with a thousand subscribers on it that I've, I'm uh, simulating came from say Aweber or GetResponse or MailChimp or something like that. And again, we can add those to our system. There is no messing around with um, double opt-ins. A lot of systems, they won't allow you to um, import without grilling you, you know, 50, questions about where you got your list from, how you built it, what shoe size you've got, what's the name of your firstborn kid. It's a real pain in the bum. So we've built this system around about just making life simple, putting you in control. A lot of these other systems will also force you to double opt in, even though you're exporting a list and re-importing it. Take this as a scenario. You're moving mails, you know, from one mail service that's been a pain in the backside, and you're moving to a new service. Well, what does that new service force you to do? Well, they then, say you've got 50,000 subscribers. Now what they're going to do is before they even allow you to, you know, import these guys, they will grill you, but they will also then send your list a new confirmation email that they must click to stay on your list. What happens? You lose most of your list because they're not gonna take that action. That cripples a business and it also forces you to stay with different autoresponders. Well, not anymore. Break out of those chains. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import these thousand people into our test list that we created earlier on. There's a CSV spreadsheet there. That's the format we're using and you can set what um, you've used as a delimiter, in this case a comma, and I'm just going to grab the email address because this is only email addresses in this demo, and that's in column one, and then I'm going to um, allow this to show progress just for the sake of demo. Now if you're importing a big list, you might want to not do that and let it run its course. The other thing is that if you've got a really, really big list, you also have to be concerned about your hosting, your timeouts of importing and things like that. But then again, if you're running a big list, you're probably on a VPS or a dedicated server anyway. If you're running a smaller list, then um, you'll be no problem. And you can even break it up into chunks and import them one group at a time, no problem at all. The other cool thing is by using the Ajax system that we've built in here, we've tried to mitigate that by allowing you to stop and start and restart your import. So for example, I'm just gonna run the importer right now, and you can see it says zero out of zero failed. That doesn't mean it's finished importing. It hasn't started yet, because it's found a thousand subscribers, but it hasn't started. So you see this button here, start importing, and what happens is it starts going through them very quickly, checking for duplicates, checking to make sure everything is cool, and then it will rattle through that. Now what I'm gonna do is because this is importing right now, a couple of things I should note. Um, because we have already set up an autoresponder, um, this is automatically adding them to the mail queue because remember, we set that autoresponder to go out immediately. So as we're adding all of these people to our list, 
they're also being added and they're getting that notification, that welcome email. So be aware of that when you're setting up your newsletter that these people are automatically being now notified at a rate that you've already set. So we're sending out literally our first email right now as we're importing all these people. If you don't want to do this, you know, and send them a notification right now, make sure you uh, set up your autoresponders accordingly that it doesn't go out to everybody, only new people, and then do that after you've imported your bulk list. So you can see we're already rattling through here. We've already got uh, 600 pretty much verified here. There we go, there's a 600 mark crossed. And again, this is a very, very powerful importer. No restrictions, no double opt-ins, no being held hostage by these third-party services where you've got all of your business tied up. They're, you know, they're trying to cripple you and hold you to their service. Um, you're in control. That's what this is all about. We want to make sure that we give you maximum flexibility, maximum power, and this is an incredible setup to use, even if you have a very, um, you know, one of the third party services that we've mentioned, this is a great backup procedure as well. So we're almost done. There's the last 10 going in and boom, we are done. Now we could import more or we can now continue to subscribers. And you'll see what's happening here is we've got a list of everyone here whether they're bounced or not, and it'll automatically, you know, clean out all the bounces. Um, you've got everything set up, ready to go. But you'll notice on the email queue, we've got 472 mails. Now, if I go back to overview, obviously it's queuing all of these people in. And you can see there's a, a on our dashboard here, there's a thousand new subscribers. And many of these are being added to the queue as we go. So let's go over here. So, and now I've already done a test run of importing. So it knows that some of these people were already part of an earlier test because this is part of our test group. But you can see we're already rocking and rolling. It's checking every two minutes, sending out 20 emails at the current rate that we've set. And we're ready to go. Now, let's create our first email as well. To do that, just click Create Broadcast. And let's send out a promotional email of sorts. So um, get the latest Facebook doohickey. Well, let's just call it widget. Um, now, doohickey is, is more amusing. So not taking much um, time to do any good copywriting here because we're just demonstrating um, a principle here. So we're going to send that out to, again, this is another cool thing. You can select all lists and it automatically updates the subscriber count, how many people are gonna get it. In this case, we're selecting all, but we've only got people in one list. We can select the theme we want to use. In our case, it's defaulting to the blues. And you can see a quick demo there of that. Again, you can preview everything. And then what we'll do is, uh, hi, and then we'll get the first name. Again, we've got that in our list of stuff down here. I can find, there we go, insert into editor, that's personalized now. Um, I wanted to let you know about this cool new Facebook doohickey. Here to see a live demo. Now again, if you have it set, you, uh, it will automatically take any links and then wrap them in a bitly shortener so you can track those links. So uh, let's do this. Um, and I'll use a simulated ClickBank link. The cool thing is that automatically cloaks it with um, any bitly link. So it's the same for JBZoo. ClickBank, ShareASail, any CPA, it's all done and dusted automatically. So, um, I think you will like this, uh, and it will help you with your social media marketing. 
the best. Fred. Now, do you see over here, the mailing list has increased because it's going through the back end process of the subscribers and still adding people to that mail queue. So that's just notice that down here in the little corner here. So this really is a very complete system. But there we go. We've got our basic HTML. Now, remember, this will create a text version automatically of your email. And then we've got um, if you want to, you can add an attachment just a simple um, uploader there and then we also have a publish as post so you can actually create a category I haven't got one here but you could create a category which is say newsletter archive and then publish it right to that and then you can select status so published or pending or what have you draft uh, an author if you want one and then a slug for that um, it will um, automatically create one uh, from the title of your email if you don't set one and then you can determine when you want to send this out so you can either send immediately which will automatically add it to the queue or you can send later say for example I want to send this uh, on the 19th at say this is a product launch so there's it's launching at 9 a.m. Um, I will set that to go out now of course remember the time zone that your blog is set to you'll find that under general settings and uh, click OK and now I can queue the newsletter now that won't go out until tomorrow but did you see the email queue has just jumped up by a thousand because I'm sending this new mail to a thousand people but it knows when those items are due to go out and it will start mailing at that time so you can see here for example here's all of the latest ones and it says send date it knows the time and date it's gonna send it so it's gonna start going through that list and looking at all the items in that queue to determine what and when so very very powerful indeed and there you go that is you Con congratulations you have just set up and sent your first email and your autoresponders are going and you are now officially email marketing I'll see you in the next video in just a few moments.